Welcome back to the News Group. I am Jackson Eisberg, and I'll be your host for today's portion of the news. Today we'll be talking about animal cruelty in zoos. This is a classic example of a social injustice. We'll be discussing this issue with the local zookeeper and an anti-cruelty activist. And now, I'll move on to Ganal with the interviews. Thanks, Jackson. Animal cruelty has been a growing problem in the United States ever since the death of Harambe, a famous Cincinnati Zoo gorilla. With me today is Alex Huerta, a zookeeper at Zoo Atlanta, and he's here to share his views on animal cruelty. Hello, Alex. How are you? Great. How about you? I'm doing great. So, what are your views on keeping animals in cages? You see, I think there's no problem in caging up animals. We provide them with enough food, water, medicine, and toys in order for them to survive. Interesting. Actually, recently, I have read an article by PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. I actually have the article with me today. And it states, and I quote, PETA opposes zoos because cages and cramped enclosures at zoos deprive animals of the opportunity to satisfy their most basic needs. The zoo community regards the animals it keeps as commodities, and animals are regularly bought, sold, borrowed, and traded without any regard for established relationships. Zoos breed animals because the presence of babies draws zoo visitors and boosts revenue. What are your opinions on that? Honestly, I don't care what happens to the animals. As long as we're safe, they'll be caged up. You know, like, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. It's either them or us. Hmm. Okay, so you're telling me you don't believe in animal rights, and you think that these animals deserve to be stripped away from their natural habitat and deserve to be trapped in an enclosure for their entire life? I guess. That's how scientists get information, right? And you know, zoos are also really great businesses for economy, and that's way more important. Well, thanks, Alex. Personally, I disagree with you, and I think that animal cruelty is a real problem in the United States. And speaking of cruelty, next up, I will be interviewing a member of an anti-cruelty organization. So make sure to stay tuned on the news. Welcome back to the newsroom. Right now, I'm with Reeve Manikanda, a member of an association against animal cruelty. So Reeve, what are your opinions about keeping animals in zoos? Thanks, Kamal. First of all, putting animals in zoos is the worst thing you can do to them. Coincidentally, I have the article from the Oxford Journal about the same topic, and wow. it states, I quote, the quickening pace of biodiversity loss and the parallel rise of a more interventionist ecological ethic have significant implications for how we understand and make trade-offs among values and responsibilities in conservation research and practice. In a nutshell, animals lose biodiversity so they can't reproduce naturally. Wow. Okay. Do you have any real-life examples of animal cruelty? Actually, yes. Just recently, a two-year-old giraffe was shot dead and fed to lions in the zoo. Wow. And according to PETA, it states, this giraffe was killed and fed to lions when he had outlived his usefulness. Now tell me, are zoos cruel or not? Wow, that is truly eye-opening. Thank you for your insight, and you have taught me a lot about how that not only are zoos cruel and unusual to these animals, it also harms their genetics because they lose their biodiversity and they can't survive in um, nature more, as adequately. So thank you for this information you have provided. And now, back to Jackson at the studio. Thanks, Kanal. Wow, what a story. Two years old and shot for no good reason? Truly, zoos are cruel in Reeves' point of view, but Alex has a different side on the situation. Alex said that as long as we are safe, animals should be caged. Now that's what I call messed up. And now, Bill with the weather. <laughs> 